Hi there, I'm Blair, Professor of Marketing and the Coordinator of the Digital Media Marketing Postgraduate Certificate Program here at George Brown College. And in this video, I've got the pleasure of answering the most asked questions and providing you with an overview of the Digital Media Marketing Program. So if you're ready to go, let's jump in. Your path into a digital marketing role starts with a program that has the benefits of George Brown College's physical location, which is in the heart of downtown Toronto, Canada's business, creative and technology center. This digital media marketing postgraduate certificate program is one of the leading in Canada. It offers a respected government and industry approved academic credential that blends some learning of fundamental principles and practices for marketing communication, applied assignments and projects that offer hands-on use of different business and marketing software, and a work-integrated learning semester where you will work with a client on doing some aspect of digital marketing for their organization. You leave being able to make an immediate contribution to digital marketing programs and campaigns on day one at the organization you choose to be a part of wherever you live. I'm going to start by answering the top three most asked questions we get from potential students. Can I apply if I'm an international student? Yes, you can. The Digital Media Marketing Postgraduate Certificate Program is open to both domestic and international students. If you're an international student and have questions about how to apply, you should contact the International Center at George Brown College for help. You can find it on the website or the URL is in the slide. Can I do this program part time? Here's the thing. Digital media marketing is an intense, full-time, postgraduate level program. Expect to make this your main commitment for one year. The program consists of 13 courses, which are broken down into two in-class semesters, and then one work experience semester. Classes are scheduled and facilitated Monday to Friday, between the hours of eight in the morning and six in the evening, Eastern Standard Time. Now we try to schedule one day a week without courses, but this is not guaranteed. It depends semester to semester. Overall, you should expect an average of five to six hours per week per course, which could consist of some mix of in-class workshops, self-guided learning or webinars, in addition to assignments, quizzes, tests, or other projects you have to work on. Now, if you must have some sort of uh, work or job, we recommend it being no more than 15 hours a week and have it be flexible enough to work on evenings and weekends. But if you do that, it's definitely gonna put pressure on your studies in completing this program. How does online learning work in this program? Not all, not all online learning is created equal. So this is not passive, sit back and watch recorded videos online learning. The online learning experiences will have some mix of live or real time synchronous workshops or webinars that are facilitated by a faculty member along with recorded or asynchronous content. Now, some faculty choose to record their live workshops or webinars, while others do not. And remember, any live or real-time workshops are held during the scheduled class time, which is Monday to Friday between the hours of 8 in the morning and 6 in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time. So now that we've answered the three most commonly asked questions, I'm going to give a bit of an overview of the Digital Media Marketing Postgraduate Certificate Program. First, the admission requirements. You need to have completed a college advanced diploma, so three years, or a bachelor's degree. 
You could possibly display a similar number of years of relevant work experiences that's supported by a resume as well as references. You also need to have English language proficiency. This includes writing and verbal skills. And this applies to students with international credentials from a non-English curriculum. Overall, we do get applicants from a range of education and personal backgrounds. You don't have to have experience in marketing or a related field. Part of this diversity is what makes the learning environment really interesting for everybody. Here are the outcomes for the digital media marketing program, which are the things you're going to be able to demonstrate at the end of it. An element of marketing strategy, which is having to do things like internal and competitive analysis, and then segmenting, targeting, and positioning. Marketing planning, with a focus on online communication and media channels. And then you're going to explore different strategies for content marketing versus paid advertising. You're going to look at strategies for owned media, like website and email marketing, and then shared media, like the social networks. You're going to get the chance to apply your skills doing marketing analytics, content creation, search engine optimization, and search advertising, as well as social media management. Now, arguably, the most important here is in human skills development. And these are based on what are called essential employability skills as outlined by the government of Ontario here in the province. We've got communication, verbal, visual, and written. You're gonna work on and develop numeracy and data analysis skills. There's critical thinking and problem solving. Information management, dealing with finding information, thinking critically about how to use it, and evaluating different information sources. There's interpersonal relationships. And then there's personal accountability, like time management, scheduling, and planning your workload. So, some things you need to be prepared to do on day one. You need to be ready to do math calculations for marketing metrics and analysis. You need to be prepared to create and publish content online. Typically, it's on your own um, website or your uh, LinkedIn profile. You've got to be prepared to communicate in all different modes, verbally, visually, written, in person and online. Be prepared to design and deliver presentations. To collaborate on team projects and to manage multiple projects and deadlines at once. Now, learning is based on active and authentic learning experiences. So what does this all mean? Well, it's a real mix of how you're going to go through this program. Our online learning experiences have some mix of both live or real-time synchronous workshops or webinars that are facilitated by a faculty member, along with pre-recorded or asynchronous content for you to watch or to listen to at your own time. Now the content is going to be in multimedia formats. You'll be doing reading, you'll be doing watching, you'll be doing listening. Now in terms of the live or real-time activities, it's some mix of labs, lecture, and workshop styles. In terms of the activities and assignments, you're going to complete them both individually as well as with group members. And then you'll also have the opportunity to hear from guest speakers in the digital marketing space, as well as choose to attend special events that are being hosted by George Brown College or perhaps other organizations. For example, the Canadian Marketing Association, which we are a member of. 
So the coursework expectations. Expect an average of five to six hours per week of work for each course that you have. There's going to be a lot of hands-on assignments and projects. Digital marketing plans, content marketing strategies, doing social listening. You're going to get beginner to intermediate use of some different software and tools. Microsoft 365, Google Analytics, LinkedIn and Twitter social networks, and Hootsuite, just to name a few. And you're gonna be able to build an online portfolio by publishing different content types on your website or on your LinkedIn profile that's gonna help you demonstrate your, um, your ability to communicate in different forms and showcase your digital literacy. All right, so let's talk about the work experience semester. This happens at the very end of the program in the third semester. The work experiences are a mix of paid co-op and unpaid internship or academic work term roles. Now, most of the roles and projects are gonna be unpaid. That's what the highest percentage of them are, just to set that expectation. Now, many opportunities are uncovered by the Work Integrated Learning Office at George Brown College. So we do help with um, bringing in those roles. But remember that a successful job search also includes your active reaching out and possibly discovering or creating your own co-op or internship opportunity. Now, many of these opportunities, you're going to have to go through a competitive interview process, just like a regular job. These aren't given to you just because you're a student. We're also making it possible if you want to work on your own entrepreneurial idea or business venture, that this work experience semester can be, you, can be tailored around those needs to support your, um, your entrepreneurial spirit. Whatever option you take, this semester needs to be comprehensive enough where you're completing approximately 300 hours of work integrated learning in this final semester in order to complete the program. And then once you're finished the program, some of the jobs in marketing and digital media that people get into when graduating are shown up here on the screen. So we've got roles that are, con that are called client side with titles like digital marketing coordinator, social media coordinator, digital analyst, lead generation marketing. Now you might choose to work marketing communication agency side as an account executive, maybe as a creative content strategist or a search engine optimization or paid search advertising coordinator. And then there's also media. If you're really interested in media planning and buying, typically this is related to advertising. We've got junior media planner, junior media buyer, paid social planner, or creator relations. These are just a few of the job titles. What you can see here is really there's a diverse opportunity of different places that you can go to start your career in, uh, in marketing in some digital format. All right, so we've answered the most commonly asked three questions. I've given you an overview of what to expect in the program. If you want to discover more about the program or about George Brown College in general, I encourage you to go to our website, discover.georgebrown.ca. The first thing you need to do is identify if you are a domestic student from Canada or if you're an international student from some other country in the world. And here you can find out more about admission requirements, fees and other financial information, as well as things relating to the application process, like how to apply, what information is needed, as well as all of the different dates and deadlines. So I hope that helped give you a better picture of what to expect 
in this digital media marketing postgraduate certificate program and set you on a path to start to discover the world of possibilities that exist at George Brown College. Thanks for joining and we'll see you soon.